Chochin here. Uh, um, I was contacted earlier this week by a witness who had a Bigfoot sighting. And um, we're actually at the location um, to do some more documenting, uh, measuring, and uh, kind of go from there. Uh, but I'll let the, uh, the witness um, talk to you here so that we can uh, hear exactly how it all went down. Hi, my name is Devin. Um, Richard is my last name. We, uh, my son and three of his friends were up here camping. Um, and uh, kind of set up what, what was going on is the tent was right over here. Um, it was an eight man tent, you know, his back was over here and probably came out to about right here. Yeah, cause we were, yeah, came out to about right here. Um, my boat was right here, my car was up there, into this parking area. Um, obviously the campfire was right over there. Um, we had the picnic table moved and we put it right over here, instead of over there. Um, just because it was closer to the tent. Um, it was Friday night, um, September, Second, I believe it was Labor Day. It was Labor Day weekend. Um, we all, you know, spent the came in kind of late fishing off off of a nearby lake, and uh, we were getting stuff undone, and we were pretty tired because we got up early that morning. So we pretty much retired, um, put the fire out, uh, made sure the fish. We did catch fish. I made sure they were in the live oil in my boat. I had the cover on it. Um, about two o'clock, yeah, I, I didn't know what time it was until after the incident happened, but I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and I came out of the tent, you know, like, like I said, the tent was about right here and I could see that the moon was through the clearing here. I could see it was, it was like a half a moon, I think, but I could see the moon. And the moon kind of lit up everything, and the fire was still smoldering. So I, I just came over here, away from everybody, so I didn't have to step in my pit. And I started urinating right here. And as I'm urinating, I'm looking, I'm looking, I look up, and I could see something walking through the trees. Because you see with the road, that was kind of lit up because of the sun. Or the sun, sorry, stupid. The moon. Um, but I could see something walking. So I'm doing this number, and right about where that clearing is right there, where you can see through the trees better. Let, let's, let this car pull by real quick. Okay. Right there. I could see something stop. And then it was, it was doing this. Yeah, so I stopped, I, stopped, I stopped peeing. You know, and I'm doing this, and he's doing that, and I was like, what the hell is that? And I went over here, and I went like this, and it started going that way, like running, like walking that way, and then it got into these thicker trees right here, and I was going like this, and like this, and all of a sudden, this thing, I could actually see it's like expand in its hair. And it just screamed at me with such decimals that uh, I could still feel it, man. I mean, it scared the hell out of me. And, and I'll be, I'll be to tell you to admit it, man. I, I remember waking up right here, soiled myself. Um, terrified, didn't really know 
couldn't remember right away what happened. All I know is that uh, it changed me for, it just changed me. So, a few questions. Yeah. Would you think it was on the road or on this side of the road, like in the little gully? Could you tell? I could not tell. I could not tell. I haven't been back here until now with you. Yeah. So this is all just coming this is, this flooding is all, back right yeah, now. Yeah, it's all flooding back, man. I, I can actually tell. It's uh. It's it's. You don't believe? <laughs> you don't need to prove, tell me anymore. But I would love to go out and, and measure to see how tall it is because now I can see a dip in the in the in the road. Right. I wonder how tall it was because I could I could guesstimate how tall it is from here by looking out. You know. I'm gonna get behind you. Uh, you know, it's, it looks like there's a dip. It looks like there's a, a, I don't, I can't tell what's out there. Right. Did anything, did it look like, it seemed like it uh, wanted to approach you? Or did it always just stay on those side of the shrubs never, near the road? It stayed right, it was doing, it was bobbing the thing, like looking through, trying to, probably trying to see me. Right. You know, wonder what the hell I'm doing. And the only thing it did is when it, I mean, it, it, it reared up and went, like with his arms like forward, you know? And how long did it? Um... Three, five, three to five seconds. Yeah. I mean, and then it just turned. I just remember it yelling and I like, you know, go like that. And I look again and it just, it, it took off so fast that it was like a blur. It was something I've never seen before, man. And uh, of course, I've never seen it before. But I don't know how it got, how it ran that fast. So it, you said it kind of headed up the road, yeah, then? Yeah, headed up the road, and then that's when. Then I remember doing, you know. Yeah. Doing this, and then I just sat down, and okay. I, I just passed out. And uh, your son and his friends, what happened uh, with, with the tent then, right when that happened? Because where were they? You were right here. I was right here. And where was the tent? The tent was right over there. Okay, so the tent's here. The uh, Sasquatch is right there on the road. Right. And you are by this tree. So, obviously, what happened <laughs> after that? They jumped up and were like, what the hell was that? And I just said, it's a horse. Go back to bed. Oh, actually, I think I said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Just go back to bed. I was going to say, because um, after something like that happened, um, is there a reason why you... Did you know what you saw after you saw it, or were you still confused? I knew what I saw. Not not right away, but after after I saw it myself and, and thought about it for a second and got up off the ground and said, that damn Sasquatch, yeah. that was a damn Bigfoot. Wow. So that was my second encounter. Okay, so your your son and your friends, were, did they actually come out or did they just yell from the no, tent? No, they, um, um, I don't want to say his name, but right. one of my son's older friends came out. Um, you know, what the hell was that? I said, oh no, I think something, I was still sitting over here. Right. You know, I was just like, I don't know, I don't know what it was. I think something got hit by a car. I don't even remember what I said, to be honest with you. But I told him, just don't worry about it, go back in the tent. So what then after that, um, did you end up going back to sleep? No, I ended up changing my pants and pretty much sitting in my boat the rest of the night. Okay. Um, of course, yeah. So then what did you hear the next morning from how many other uh, campers were out here there in was, the grounds? There was one that was, there was one, camper with a horse over there okay and then uh, I think there was one at the end of this road but I did hear when the, after it after it yelled I did hear people say what the hell was that you know if I'm from these people over here well wow. not there but way over there oh because yeah, you could hear because it's so quiet here yeah. at night you could actually you hear, hear them everything. yeah there was no sound
But Never the, forget that. Now, okay, so then my next question would be, is um, how... I'll let you get your vaping. Right. <laughs> um, did you, the next day, go out and look for anything? Um, yeah, in the morning before we went, uh, while the boys were getting breakfast done and ready, I, I went over there and uh, I saw um, a track. You know what? I did go over there. Okay. That's right. I was going to say, let's, let's, uh, let's go to the next phase here because yeah. you did nothing that night. No. But after we got back fishing the next day, I did, I did come over here. There might be a path here. Yeah. And I did see like a partial, <clears throat> not really indent indentation. But I could have been wanting to see it. I don't know. Boop. It's all right. You got caught on a, got a vine on you. <laughs> Make sure I don't do that same mistake. What's that? Yeah, uh, it could be game trail. Look where look where this trail leads across yep. the street. Yeah, no kidding. So you almost have this trail, and you can actually see the trail. It goes right there. So where do you think it was? Let's go stand where you think it was at. Probably like right in here. Because there's the... The thicker of the trees are right there. Right. So it had to have been like right here. And you came out here and you looked on the ground. Yeah, and but I this, know shit, this shit wasn't here. Right. Yeah, it's a little different time of year. The leaves haven't quite started to fall yet. No. But I remember there was dirt. It was like this. Kind of like right here. Yeah. And I saw, I saw, I think maybe part of a heel. Maybe I was just trying to make it real. I don't know. But like the other side, that's, that's how this side looks. See the dirt on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I swear I thought I saw, you know, kind of, you know, heel and then like maybe some toes. But I could be wrong. Right. But yeah, it was like this. Yeah, because down here at this time, it's uh, very remote. Um, I didn't even know this trail was here. Yeah, well, I'm just looking to see how that hole, how it kind of comes up right through here, exactly right to this path. Yep. All right, so let me ask you, think it could have been a person? No, hell no. And how come? What makes you, what makes you think it? Did you get to see... Um, Give me any great details that you can that you can think of because the, again it was at night, right? Right. And you had uh, the moon, but you also had a bunch of brush in front of you. Mm -hmm. So what makes you 100 percent of what what you saw? The the voice the 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 roar. Yeah. It's just no way that it came out of a human. No way. No way. No. Couldn't, it couldn't be. Plus the silhouette. <clears throat> it was just so wide. I mean, it was it was like this wide. I wonder what I remember. You know, it was really, really, really wide. And there's no way a human could run that fast when it took off. And how fast do you say it flew? I don't know. It, it was gone. Yeah. I mean, it was it was gone. I don't even. I didn't even see it take a step. It just went. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I don't know if it, uh, I don't want to say disappeared. All I saw was a blur, and it was, it was gone. 
I didn't it, want to hit these other branches I couldn't see. Right, and I was going to say, did it sound like it went through the woods no, at all? No, did. I didn't hear any leaves, but then again, these leaves weren't probably not here. Right. I didn't hear any footsteps after that. I didn't hear anything. So well, we'd have to try to determine. There is more woods over here. Oh, yeah. See, I thought that was, I no, was thinking maybe it was a farmer's field. No, the woods go really north. Wow. <laughs> Uh, because it's very interesting that uh, you're telling me this and that you contacted me, um, namely because what you saw is pretty much in the same area that I've been researching for over five years. So definitely that's why I wanted to uh, meet up with you um, mm -hmm. to hear your story um, to, to see the location. Um, and again, we, we could try doing a height measurement. It, it's, I don't know how accurate this is going to be from your view. Cause I can actually see yeah, the tree. where the tree is right. right through there. All right. I see the tree right in the center there. So that means this thing had to have been standing right exactly where we're standing right now. Right. Right. So if that's the case, did it seem higher? It then, looks like it, it just slopes down from the tree to here. A little, a little, a little bit. bit. Yep, a little bit. So, how high would you compare it to you know, these? I, I need to go back there. Can you stand here? Yeah, absolutely. This is the only way we're really going to do it. I do have a uh, a ruler, uh, I mean, a tape measure to to uh, measure my height. But from where he's at, he's going to go back to the tree where he was going to the bathroom when he first saw it. Okay, so now he's looking right here. We're going to let a few. Hold on one second. Let the cars pass. Okay, so you're standing there right by the tree. I much what? Closer. Oh, he was closer? So you think he was actually in the wood line here? Okay. So standing here. Okay. Yep, you're probably about a foot taller than you are. All right, I'm six foot right here. So he could have come into this right here to, to check out. Yeah, because honestly, from here, um, I, I, I couldn't even really s see you unless I did start to bob and weave a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's what he's doing. It. Because right here, I can see the tree, right? I can see the tree. Right. And I would have to actually duck like this. I'd have to duck to actually see or move back and forth. Maybe that's what he's doing, doing this number. Right. Because he must have heard me peeing. Right. This was dead out here. Yeah. Dead, well, it's dead quiet yeah. without the cars going. Right. Yeah, there wasn't a car that drove by at all. All right, so if you were going by my size, like I said, I'm six foot. Maybe with the boots, I'm six two. Um, and I just wanted to know how much higher... Uh, when you were probably that branch, this one, yeah, that one, yeah. All right, so that's actually seven and a half or eight foot. So I don't even know, you know, like like he might have been down, you know, doing this. Yeah, I'll you tell know? you what. Let me go walk back. Okay. I'm gonna record you standing here. Okay. And then we'll look back on this. Okay. And that'll give you even a better okay. look. <laughs> I know. Yeah. The booby traps. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just get a fresh perspective from here.
So I will let Devin look at this. Actually, I'll go on this side too. Yeah, I mean, barely. Right. Put your arms up tall. Well, we'll uh, we'll play it back. All right, All right come on back. All right, now this is really interesting because as I came out here and we were done recording, I swear it looked like there was a black image right behind this tree. And then I just showed Devin and Devin, what'd you see Devin? I saw it like, I don't know, I don't know what I saw. Just looked like something peering out from behind. The yeah, it right. Was, could have been a squirrel. I yeah, but where where would that squirrel be right now? It was right here. This is crazy. I've guess it's a uh, subjective, um, because that's what we're doing right now, and it's during the day. You got cars driving by, but I wouldn't put anything past. That was really bizarre. I mean, it was right here, and. We were no more than right there by the picnic table to here. And I walked over here immediately, got the camera going. I see nothing. So it's time to put on the thermal, see if I can scan this. That was bizarre. Oops. Check this out. I just caught a glimpse of uh, a heat signature. Right here. Right in the middle. For a second. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Oh, all right, wait. Let me, let me adjust it. Right there. Yeah, I see it. Why is that all red in there? I don't know. There's like three or four of them that are like... Hot. Look at that. Look at it. Why is it hot? And they're all down low. They're laying on the ground. Yeah. There's no way that can be hot. The sun hasn't been out. Right. Way. So keep an eye on that spot, okay, while I do this. I'm going to look okay. on the ground here. All right, well, we got some red here, too. Oh, we do? Yeah. All right, so I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's the, there's the path. Oh, okay. All right, so all right, I know, right? <laughs> that my heart going. I know, mine too, because I'm kind of like, why are we seeing it? But that's the the heat signature we're looking for out there. Right. I got it. I was trying to get the plane and at the very last second I saw a big red thing fly through the air. <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell? So now we are across the road from the campground. There seems to be a path right here to almost exactly where uh, Devin saw it standing. So followed the path back here.
Oh, look at that. Nice dead animal. Bunny. I do see fleas on it though, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. See if y'all can attempt the pine. Yeah, down here. Yeah. Which is the next set of And so this must be the other part of the... Something's like scratching right up in here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying Turkey. to think of. Oh, this ground is really soft. Really soft. It looks like that's a horse path or yeah. something. Yep. All right, so again, judging from there, that's where the trail was that led into the campgrounds. Now we're all the way through it. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, isn't it? That is interesting. It didn't grow there. <laughs> no, it's, de that. it's definitely placed. It's interesting. There's a path running right through here, but I don't know. Let me take a look, see if I can see that. Lots of deer. You know, I definitely did some clearing up here. You know, of course, anybody could have put a rock there. Definitely looks like deer tracks here. Yeah, they are. I mean, definitely soft ground.
So, think about this. Yeah. How about standing right here and observing all the traffic from up here? Yeah. Well hidden. Yep. How do you feel being out here? Fine. Do you? Yeah, I feel comfortable. Good. Yeah. Not scared. Should be. <laughs> but I don't. I think we might have found a corridor. The way I believe they're moving. From the yeah. areas I research to here.